Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. I would like to thank AIOS for giving this opportunity. So I'll be speaking on the multi-layer inverted flap technique and uh, the slight different from what we do is a inverted flap. I know we all know about the International Vicro Macular Traction Study, which have shown that the large macular hole, it is if it is more than 400 microns. So just I would like to show the first animation about the, the multi-layered flap technique is instead of taking everything as a whole and bringing it as a hinge, just try, try to take a, a, like a petaloid fashion one by one. So that the advantage of this technique is even if the one flap goes off, the rest of the flap still remains. If we look into the Jersey Navroki study has shown the 14% of flap dislodgement in case of these uh, cause of large macular holes. So this is just a small animation. So I'd like to show this video how we do it. After doing a complete vitrectomy um, and uh, doing a PVD induction, now you see that uh, the stained ILM uh, that I have earlier stained with the BBG, I'm just using it like a small petaloid like fashion uh the only advantage i find in this technique is uh, in case of inverted flap technique where we bring the hole together sometimes the flap dislodgement is uh, if, if it happens then everything is lost yeah, especially in cases of large macular hole when it is more than 800 microns or 1000 microns so here i'm just trying to complete the peel and uh, since i i tried doing this in first 10 of my cases i found that there was a small hound like thing so I tried trimming these flaps. If there are too long, then I tried trimming these flaps and put it. But later on, after 15 surgeries like this, I started doing it under PFO. So this is uh, uh, the advantage if you have a good intraop OCT as well as the, the 3D visualization. It comes on the screen itself. The vertical and the horizontal split comes on the screen itself where you can see. And now you can see I'm just trying to do it under PFO. The advantages, uh, as you were describing, under PFO or under Visco is it tries to stay. Uh, in, in, in case of the earlier videos I showed, during the fluid air exchange, there are chances that it might slip away. But in this case, it's very less chance that the, these flaps come outside of the MAC hole. But one might ask that while doing a fluid air exchange with the PFO, it might. Now you can see the intra-positive uh, OCT itself shows the plugging, nice plugging of this macular hole. And while doing a fluid air exchange, I try to tilt the eye a little bit so that the PFO moves away from the macula, that whole area, and then complete the fluid air exchange. So with this, we do not have an unexpected flap dislodgement or the uh, uh, unexpected movement of these flap outside of this. So this is the... Uh, recent uh, video which I was showing and the, there's a type 1 closure in this case. So why this technique? As I said, 14% is shows flap dislodgement as described by Jersey Navroki. And uh, the closure mechanisms, whatever it might be, because of the numerous Muller cell fragments which includes the gliosis or with the surface tension which uh, <coughs> of the gas effect or the residual fluid at the base of the macular hole is pumped out by the RP effectively. So these are all the hypotheses which have been described in cases of inverted ILM peeling. So we did a study uh, to look into of more than 700 uh, microns and uh, post-op uh, one month and three months were done. 103 eyes we have now done it of 99 patients of MAC hole of more than 700 microns and 25 gauge vitrectomy, IOCT, as I showed in the videos, everything were done. The mean minimum linear diameter of this study was 711 and the mean basal diameter was 1390 microns. The mean pre-op logmar was 1.2 which improved to around 0.7. So 92% of the cases had type 1 closure in these multi-layered series. 5.8% of the cases had type 2 closure. One case had, two cases had type 3 where we did an ILM transplant in these cases. So this was the just a graph showing. So these are the some of the representative cases showing of more than 1,400 to 1,500 micron of minimum linear diameter of these large macular holes. And this is the another case where you can see the basal diameter itself is around 2,500 microns and the MLD is around 1,403 microns. And still you can see the uh, anatomical closure. The patient did had two lines of improvement, two Snellen line chart improvement in this case. So to the best of our knowledge, after thorough review of the literature, still no other study till date has uh, data of such large sample size of macular hole of especially the basal diameter of more than 1300 microns and it's still in the manuscript. So to conclude, multi-layered invert ILM flap technique con uh, con uh, contributes to improved anatomical and visual outcomes. It provides a promising method in, prevent, uh, in uh, preserving the ILM flaps 
and patients with type 1 closure do show a good significant improvement in terms of visual acuity. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Meena Chakravarti will present uh, uh, her uh,